You see this stack of books? Let me tell you something. This one, this one, flow, inheritance, crossing the chasm. Let me tell you something about making money and uh, more importantly about life in general. Uh, it's all about the fundamentals. Everybody gets real fancy. I had somebody visiting me for a few days that wanted to make a lot of money, trying to make a lot of money in business. And I said, it ain't gonna happen. Not in your current state because you don't understand the fundamentals. It's just like in sports, you wanna be good at basketball, you gotta be good at the fundamentals. Michael Jordan was fundamentally sound. Wasn't as fancy as you think. Was fancy at times, but here's the deal. You wanna make money? Learn how to close deals. Learn how to communicate with people. Public speaking. Remember that thing that most people faint about? Most people, they say fear more than cancer. I read that the average person fears sharks, cancer, public speaking. Never let that be you. Because to be fundamentally sound in this world is to be able to communicate. You're not gonna get a good job. You're not gonna start your own company. You're not gonna close deals. You're not gonna get sales. You're not gonna build passive income. You're not gonna build multiple streams of cash flow if you don't have that fundamental. Build companies that are fundamentally sound. Build a career that's fundamentally sound. People run after this, 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 this. That's why I tell people, learn to sell online because it's fundamentally sound for the next 50 years or as long as we can foresee into the future, people are gonna be buying online. So you might want to learn how to do that. You know, build a funnel, build a website, build a compelling offer, build an email list, build a content marketing strategy, build social media, build a following, follow the three T's, teach, tailor, take control, understand authority, understand psychology. But I read books to become more fundamentally sound, not to become fancier. And uh, we live in a world of ever-increasing confusion about what it takes. When I was broke, when you're broke, it always comes down to one thing. You suck at the fundamentals. That's all. People are waiting. People are waiting for the economy to turn around. People are waiting for presidents. People are pointing to economic structures. I got in an argument with somebody who is a socialist living in England. I said, socialism is not fundamentally sound. The ironic thing is she lives now in Costa Rica because she can't afford to live in London. I said, fundamentally, when you tax people, you just redistribute money. You don't create new money. Government doesn't create new ideas. It doesn't create wealth. That's created by the individual or by groups of ind individuals coming together privately. So yeah, you can tax people and redistribute money, but it doesn't fundamentally change the nature of the world, the nature of your country. People say, what about Sweden? I, well, I used to live in Sweden. Sweden's fundamentally sound, that's why it's wealthy. It's not because it's, it's socialist. It's a very capitalistic place. Sweden has a lot of natural resources has an educated population, it's fundamentally sound. Forget taxes, forget politics, but I'm telling you this, another fundamental is understanding that there is only one thing that raises you out of your current situation, and that's creativity. And how do I define creativity? I define it very simply, um, by going to the opposite. <laughs> if you wanna know what something is, first define what it isn't. What creativity isn't is banging your head on the wall doing the same things. And I've seen the smartest, wealthiest, most quote unquote successful entrepreneurs doing the same thing over and over. In fact, when I look at my life, what would I do differently? I would pivot faster. Now I know there's a danger of pivoting too much and giving up too early, but trust me, the state of the human mind is one that gravitates much more towards the stubborn end of the spectrum. See, to me, the opposite of creativity is not lack of creativity. To me, the opposite of creativity is stubbornness. Get falling in love with your idea, falling in love with your daily routine, falling in, falling in love with what's been working somewhat well for you. That's not fundamentally sound. Fundamentally sound is going, I understand the sunk cost fallacy. The sunk cost fallacy says, 
that just because you've been doing something and you have a lot invested in it, if it's not the right thing to do, if it's not fundamentally sound, stop doing it. Stop. It's not enough to add new things to your life. You have to stop doing something and that's the hardest part. And people marry people, people get in business partnership, people launch businesses and it becomes apparent that it was the wrong choice, yet they won't change because to change would be to lose face. It would be to have to admit that you were on the wrong path. So instead people stay on the fundamentally unsound path forever. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. Fundamentally, if something's wrong, it should be stopped immediately, even if you have a million dollars invested in it. Even if you have 10 years of your life invested in it. But once again, people aren't taught how to think. To be fundamentally sound is to not be so emotional and to be more rational. It's to be not 100% like a computer because having emotions does have advantages in life. I mean, it's important for empathy, for raising families, for romance. But when it comes to being successful, you have to turn your brain off sometimes. Or you have to turn off the part of the brain that's more primitive, the back part of your brain. You have the brainstem, the medulla, you know, the cerebellum, the amygdala. These are not the rational part of your brain. The rational part of the brain is up here in the front, the medium prefrontal cortex. That's the part of the brain that, uh, that can think through things step by step. But see, when a thought starts here, fear starts here, and it moves up. And for most people, it never hits the medium prefrontal cortex. But the medium prefrontal cortex is what makes humans humans. It what's what makes us arguably above the animals, although sometimes we're not really above the animals. And that's because we operate so often back here. Greed, short-sightedness, uh, anxiety. Fear of things that shouldn't be feared. You should only fear one thing if your thinking's fundamentally sound. Fear one thing. To live a crappy life. Fear that. Don't fear anything else. Don't fear the, fear the embarrassment of trying public speaking and people laughing at you. Don't try, fear the embarrassment of giving up on something and other people saying, Oh, oh, you, you said you were so confident what you're doing didn't work out for you. Don't fear that. Fear living a crappy life. That's it. And at the fundamentals and why I rail against the modern school system and society in general is because people don't keep that in mind. The only reason you should get an education, the only reason you should go to college or not go to college, the only reason you should start a business, the only reason you should work out, the only reason you should eat healthy, the only reason you should read, the only reason you should be watching this video is because at the fundamentals of what life's about, is not living a crappy life. It's about living the good life. And that's it. And that's all that matters. If living the good life didn't entail me reading this book, do you think I would read books? If part of living the good life didn't have me recording this video, do you think I would be recording this video? For some reason, this video is in my destiny. For some reason, I'm recording this because at this current time, it feels like and it seems logical that this is moving me towards a good life, but make no mistake, I delete all my social media in a heartbeat if I discovered it wasn't fundamentally sound getting me towards that only that one fundamental goal, which is to be happy and live the good life. That's it. So keep that in mind. Stop fearing the things that are minor. What do they say? People major and minors and minor and majors. There's only one major. Enjoy your life. Live the good life. Be happy. Don't be stressed out too much. Surround yourself with an amazing social circle. Have excess money in the bank account so you can save. Maybe you won't be the wealthiest person in the world, but sure don't want to be the poorest person in the world. You know? You don't necessarily have to be the most fit person in the world to live the good life. But you better get in the gym. You better watch what you eat. And that's the only thing that matters. And that's the, those are the subjects that aren't really taught in school. Math is good, but it's not that important when it comes to the good life. It's a minor part. Grammar is not that important in living the good life. What other people think may or may not be. 
I hope your life becomes fundamentally sound, my friend. Good night.